The terrorists call themselves Sons of Liberty. Sons of Liberty? The name of their leader is Solid Snake. The hero of Shadow Moses? So that's why you changed my code name. Right, but he can't be THE Solid Snake. He died two years ago on that tanker, after he blew it sky high. Could he have survived? Not a chance. Colonel, I'm on the roof. There are no sentries, but it would only take one to spot me in this light. You never had daylight VR training, after all. Stay extra sharp until you can find a node to log in from. What about the commandos? SEAL Team 10 has landed on Struts B and C. And the President? Seems he was spotted on Strut B. Strut B? The Big Shell is comprised of Shells 1 and 2. Each unit consists of a central core and six struts surrounding it. So the whole thing is shaped like two hexagons connected end on end. Exactly. And you're on the roof of Strut A, Shell 1 at the moment. SEAL Team 10 is in. Do we really have no line of communication with the SEALs? They don't know a thing about us. You know we work in the dark, and this mission is no exception. Only a few people know about your presence here. <sighs> There's no need for concern. This operation is under Pentagon's direct command, and the NSDD came from the Vice President and the Secretary of Defense. Your mission may be top secret, but it's gone through the usual channels.
are you? Five today. Or rather, six. an enemy. Calm down. My name is... My name is Pliskin. Iroquois Pliskin. Lieutenant Junior Grade. Are you a Navy SEAL? How did you get in? Fast rope descent from a Navy chopper. Have I seen you before? That suit. Are you Foxhound? That's right. Foxhound was disbanded. Huh? Where were you before Foxhound? Delta Force? I was part of the Army's Force 21 trials. Force 21? That's about tactical IT deployment, right? Any field experience? No, not really. So this is your first? I've had extensive training, the kind that's indistinguishable from the real thing. Like what? Sneaking missions 60, weapons 80, advanced... VR, huh? But realistic in every way. A virtual grunt of the digital age, that's just great. That's far more effective than live exercises. You don't get injured in VR, do you? Every year a few soldiers die in field exercises. There's pain sensation in VR and even a sense of reality and urgency. The only difference is it isn't actually happening. That's the way they want you to think, to remove you from the fear that goes with battle situations. War is a video game. What better way to raise the ultimate soldier? So you're saying that VR training is some kind of mind control? Right. What's going on? The Alpha team from Navy SEAL 10 is dead. No, a single survivor. The kid's wired with nanomachines. What about the President? Looks like they took him somewhere else. I see. You said there was a survivor from SEAL Team 10. Yeah. Lieutenant J.G. Pliskin. 
Has he seen your face? What? This is a top secret mission. No one can know that we're involved. It's a little too late for that. What's up? Take a look. What the hell? A Navy captain. You all right? Give me a few minutes. Must have lost a few more pints than I thought. What was that man just now? That blood-sucking freak? That was Vamp. He's Romanian. A wizard with knives, as you saw. The way he moved didn't seem human. You won't see that in VR, I guarantee. What is he? One of the members of Dead Cell. Dead Cell? Him? A special forces unit created by ex-president George Sears. The name was originally intended to reflect its anti-terrorist functions. The unit would launch unannounced assaults on government complexes for the ultimate terrorism simulation. They were needed to show VR troopers like you how to deal with the real thing. But around the time their original leader died in prison, the unit began to unravel. They were always close to the edge, but they became more and more extreme, began to go after U.S. allies, even civilians. We estimate that no fewer than a hundred people died as a result of accidents the dead cell arranged on their own. They were out of control, and it all came to a head six months ago. What happened? The unit was devastated. There are only three left now, and you just saw one of them. Why would they go after the big shell? How should I know? I told you they were on the lunatic fringe. What about their leader? He says he's Solid Snake. Snake died two years ago. You mean the incident that made this big shell necessary in the first place? Right, and he was the one that sank that tanker. But he's a legend. Legends are usually bad news. There's not a lot of difference between heroes and madmen. You're saying Snake is still alive and pulled another one? No, he's not involved in this one. His body was positively ID'd two years ago. Snake is dead. And buried. What about the other soldiers? I saw Russian equipment too. Former Soviet military. They're probably mercenaries. The big shell is too much ground for just dead cell members to hold down. You weren't briefed on any of this? And you came in alone to boot? Why? What are you really doing here? Can't tell me, huh? Fine with me. I don't smoke. Keep it anyway. May come in handy. Take this, too. Zero. This is Bravo Zero, currently at the bridge between struts B and C. The president is... Damn, I can't hit this thing. It's like some bad dream. Alpha, anyone, come in, all Alpha. This is Bravo Zero. Aren't you going to answer him? <laughs> the BC connecting bridge. We need to get there. Can you handle it? I need a few more minutes. Remember my frequency. It's 141.80. 141.80. Got it. I've been briefed on this plant's layout. If you need information on the place or about Dead Cell, contact me. You're using nanocommunication, right? Yeah, but I can patch into your frequency. 